No required federal student loan payments. 0% interest on federal student loans. And no collection of student loans in default. As a result of continuous student loan relief since March 2020, federal student loan borrowers will get more than $110 billion of student loan cancellation. Why? With no mandatory student loan payments and no new interest accrual, student loan borrowers will save $5 billion each month, according to the U.S. Department of Education. This student loan cancellation is in addition to the $3 billion of student loans that Biden has canceled since becoming president. It's also different than wide-scale student loan cancellation, a strategy that could lead to upfront student loan forgiveness instead of a temporary student loan payment pause. Through student loan relief, federal student loan borrowers also will get credit towards student loan forgiveness for both income-driven repayment plans and the public service loan forgiveness, even if they didn't make any federal student loan payments during the COVID-19 pandemic. Will Congress or Biden enact wide-scale student loan forgiveness? Student loan cancellation, financial stimulus. There are several reasons to cancel student loans. Wide scale student loan cancellation would help millions of student loan borrowers get out of debt faster so they could buy a home, start a family, save for retirement, and break free from the shackles of high interest debt. One of the major arguments for wide scale student loan cancellation is that student loan forgiveness stimulates the economy. The argument goes so. If student loan borrowers don't have student loans, they could have more money to spend elsewhere in the economy. Plus, when 45 million Americans collectively hold $1.7 trillion of student loan debt, economists have argued that it negatively impacts the economy. Here's a counterargument. There's been student loan relief since March 2020. Through January 31, 2022. Nearly 90% of student loan borrowers didn't have to pay student loans due to student loan relief from the CARES Act, the $2.2 trillion stimulus package, for 22 months. While this student loan relief didn't result in outright student loan cancellation, not paying student loans is a similar economic effect to student loan cancellation, even if temporary. Without a requirement for student loan payment, student loan borrowers can apply their money toward other pursuits such as saving for retirement, paying other debt, or starting a business. The COVID-19 pandemic adversely impacts this period, although unemployment today is relatively low by historic standards. Student loan cancellation of $50,000 doesn't mean student loan borrowers get $50,000. If there is up to $50,000 of student loan cancellation, the U.S. Department of Education estimates that 36 million student loan borrowers would have all their student loans paid off. However, $50,000 of student loan cancellation doesn't mean a student loan borrower get that same amount of money to spend in the economy. Instead, a student loan borrower saves their monthly student loan payment. This could amount to less than $400 of extra funds each month, rather than tens of thousands of dollars. Since student loan borrowers already are not paying their student loans, the anticipated economic impact from wide-scale student loan forgiveness may already We have real inflation. When you go to the gas station and you're paying 502 a gallon and you buy bread that's up 13% from last month or beef that's up 24% or chicken that's up 19%, you're not happy. Whoever's in power when inflation hits always has a really bad time in the midterms. system. It's broken.
What would happen if everybody collectively decided that they just weren't going to pay their federal student loans? Well, we know what would happen on an individual borrower basis. We understand, and I've talked about this in a whole bunch of other videos, what happens when you go into default on a federal student loan. I'm not going to go back into that. The interesting part of that question, I think, is what would happen to the federal government if they weren't getting the money from the federal student loan payments? It would be terrible, right? We'd have no money. The federal government would not be able to govern, right? Well, wrong, because we've already seen what happens if the federal government doesn't get their money from federal student loans. That's been the case since March of 2020. So from March of 2020 all the way through to the end of January 2022, that's like almost two years worth of no payments. And what's happened since then? Well, the lights still go on. The heat still works. Federal employees are still getting paid. Things are doing okay as far as the federal government's concerned. So you've got to ask yourself, all of the people who say that federal student loans shouldn't be forgiven because the federal government needs that money. They lent the money and now they need it back. You've got to ask yourself whether that argument still holds water.